Coming up on Dr. Cliff Worldwide Vet. The crew and I meet up with Jan and Steph of the Jamaican Cave Organization and hike to the St. Clair Cave. On the way, we navigate through septic rivers, climb down precarious fig tree roots, stroll on top of thousands of years worth of back guano, and breathe in thick and foul noxious cave air, only to discover that within the St. Clair Cave, we are not alone. Something is in here hunting and killing this rare bat species. So, he's a mammal, and he's got five fingers, and if you hold his wing out, you can see one, two, three, four, there's an elbow, and a shoulder, uh, elbow, and a, and a wrist. Let me spread out his wing for you here. Okay. There's the elbow, and he has, he, you know, little, little claw there. This one here now, tiny little ears, see, and they tilt back here now, he's got a small face. Very common, ectoparasites. Ectoparasites on, in, on thing, you have different okay. types. Um, very common on bats here. Um, if we turn him over here. You know, let go of that, it's pretty okay. fragile. Now we look and there's his little penis, just like all other mammals. He is, wow. when they get bigger, the gi giant fruit bats, you will see the penis and the testicles very distinct and it is human-like. I can send you photographs and you would think that's out of a bat porno magazine. <laughs> um, so you can hold him like this with the, the, the neck in between the forefinger and the middle finger and then you put the thumb on top here. And notice the wings, he just usually folds them in like that. When you, or you pinch the wings to the side and put your finger underneath so you're not stressing him and he can't reach down and get your finger. Now bats too have the ability than no other mammal, when they are roosting upside down, they can bend their neck all the way back in a loop and bite you. Really? And they do that for grooming and other stuff, but they have a, vert a, a neck thing there that is so flexible, they can bend it back at extreme angles. Because they're roosting upside down like this, his head can turn and look back at that direction. In between the legs here, you oh, have a flap a of skin here, yeah. which is known as the interfemoral membranes, which of course is the membrane in between the two femurs. Okay. Um, it can be at different lengths. This particular bat here, notice the tail. And so we'll turn this one over now, so we, we secure him properly. Wings to the side. Oh, let me get a good grip on him. And let's look underneath here. And, and we got another boy. 
Yeah, take all your measurements and do everything before I hand them because <laughs> there's a good chance I'm going to let go. See if you get them on, Doc. Can you hold my hand like I'm a bat, like I want to see the pressure? Um, very gentle. You'll know. You'll, you'll feel it. You won't want to squeeze too much, but if he starts to fight and get away from you, you'll know. The main thing, it's not so much pressure, but it's technique. It's like a hold, a lock or a hold in, in, in arts, you know. Once you get... I'm a judo guy. Mm -hmm. Once you get him in the right thing, it's not the amount of things. So what you're going to do now is put your hands around mine like this, and you're going to put, I'm going to, yeah, that's a little tight. Let me take him here, and you got him down. Okay, so now see the wings are there now. Yeah. You would want to, put, you can use your finger and push in there now. <laughs> yeah, he bites in there now. So you get the two wings to the side, and you can put him a little bit further out of your fingers if you want. You can take your left hand too now, and once you pinch him at the bottom, the elbows and to the body, he, that is how you secure him too. So With my left hand. Left hand, just pinch the two elbows there close to the body, and then you can move your hand down. Um, move these, move, the, move your thumb. There you go. You're good, man, you're good. Most of the bats in Jamaica, the body size is really about the size of an adult thumb. So they're very tiny little creatures, and several species are even smaller than this, and this is an adult. So they're tiny little animals, but the wings extend out quite a bit. So sorry, what do you think the wingspan would be? On this one here, oh, I would guess three, six, maybe seven inches all the way across, mm -hmm. I'm guessing, and you know, he probably 17. spreads out a little more. When he's in full flight, I wouldn't be surprised if it's even more than seven inches. And if you want to see what it feels like, you can ah, stick your ah. finger. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So what you do is just grab the two elbows here and push into, into the body mm -hmm. and until you get your thumb up a little higher. Come around from the, the other way. Um, right, there you go. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna lose him. That's okay, we, we've probably handled him in. Um, we teach you. I never had no Canadian meat before. <laughs> and I'm a vegetarian, man. This is lean meat. Okay, so when you're go. ready, just hold him up and let him fly off. <laughs> See you later, Henry. Great stuff, guys. Great stuff. You know, they, the babies stay on them for the first few weeks. So if you catch a maternal one who's given birth, you'll catch the mother and the baby. Really? Yeah. Or the if you baby's like the size of your pinky finger. Hanging on, clutching on to the mother underneath. So there. small. Mm -hmm. Very tiny. So they're flying around with these babies attached? Yep. Mm-hmm. Wow. like, hey, cheese dude. Man, you're the bat whisperer. He's loving you. You saw how we grabbed the glove? And, wouldn't, yeah. and, and it's stuck in there. When he gets your finger or your hand, it's the same thing. Yeah. You have to try and get him to open his mouth, and the only way of doing that is to blow. And sometimes they get a good bite on you, and the worst spot is in here. And I've had it more than once. I mean, it's bad anywhere. When I'm really active, you know, so sometimes it gets the callus, but boy, I've gotten them gotten in here, and that's like you're stepping on a 220 volt electric thing. Instantly, your body says, This is Rock. death, and yeah. you, it's not pleasant. It's like a Rottweiler grabbing you and not letting go and doing this. You know right away, hey, survival says this has to stop immediately. All, All right, guys, now our special one. one. Yeah. Now the special yeah. one. Let okay. Away, so to the And look at the size of that interfemoral membrane, how it fans out. Holy jeez. Yeah. You see that? That right. acts as an air break okay. and tail. as a dam. Double shot. Tail fully enclosed does not extend. Right. It's not coming out of the door. It's like a, oh, uh, my. We want a forearm. It could be metal. It's like a, uh, it's like a, it reminds me of the flying squirrels. Flying squirrels and the flying suits when they have the yeah. tail oh, in between yeah, the, the legs. Suits. Exact yeah, yeah, same yeah. thing. Okay, guys, I'm going to take off the glove. Yeah, you don't put that in your mouth. Okay, look at the face now. No nose leaf. He's got biggish ears. Those are funnel ears. Would you say those are funnel ears, man? Maybe. It could be an atlas microbus. Okay, where's my... Do you think it's an adult? We're going to check for that after. Thirty-four point seven. Could be Kyle and Adam's 
Let's, let's take a good look at them. Jesus, what a tiny bat. My God, I've never... Those are some serious... I... Doesn't even hurt. He's so small. Uh, Doesn't even hurt. He's so small. Look at that little creature. Now, what's that with this? Yeah. Just some staining or anything. Who knows? A little scar. Yeah. Like yeah. All right. So let's. Okay. Let's. Dog life. No, man. This is a funnel nose. This is. A, I think this is Macropus. He's a male. No, he's got a peony bigger than the the, the Terranotuses, or he's just happy to see um, duck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Love you too, buddy. What a little creature! My God, look at that. Oh man. Now he's cute. So what's this one you think, my crocus? Uh, let me see there now. You know, if we'd had the thing there now, look how big the, the, the ears are, man. This is where is. All right, so. Tail expands, does not. Hind feet, not a lot. So we know it's not that. Upper lips wrinkled, not smooth, wrinkled. What do his upper lips look like? Form doesn't match for any of them either, anyways. Nope. Okay. Tail does not extend beyond trailing edge of the membrane. Tail produced through dorsal nope. surface. It doesn't. Ears rounded, long, lacks for upper and lower lips with flaps. Yeah, but we're... Yeah, we're, does that... No, no because no, that, that's that whole group... That's, that's more mops on the three-term notice. No, that's not so it. So we're, we're down to the other seven. Tail fully enclosed in interfemoral membrane. Or tail absent. Was uh, that a then, tail? And then we get no. to nose leaf and modified nasal structure. Twelve. No nose leaf. Tail absent. Okay. Forearm 57, the... forearm 37. Tail present, ears large. 20 minutes, joined by band across the top of the head. Well, it's not a macrotus. No. Down here, and man. So we break down no nose leaf. Yeah. Nose leaf. Yeah. Okay. Tail is longer than head and body. Fringe of hair along trailing edge of the interfemoral. Nope. Did he have a fringe of hair along the trailing edge of the interfemoral? And the, no, the tail, he doesn't. The tail is fully enclosed. 33 to 34. It's micro. It's Natalus Microbus. Yeah, I'm sure it's it's Natalus Microbus. Yeah, wow, let me get something. We've never caught one of these before. That's so, the only, really the only one with the. Uh, does this have that's, a, that's the smallest a, a forearm regular name? Any of them, you know, yeah? uh, it's got the smallest forearm. It's not the funnel ear. Uh, it is, yeah, it's a funnel ear bat. But it's not the. It's not the Natalus Jamaicensis. It's Kylo Natalus Microbus. It's the small mammals. I'm sorry, but oh, 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 my, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Did we get any pictures? I got some video and photos here. We got some pictures. Anyway, it's not, I've been with them when they've been caught at this cave. I've seen them caught, you know. The only, yeah, he was a male. Okay. Um, we didn't male even have to look for the, the, uh, I forget what it's called because that weenie was big enough where I'm guessing he was an adult. With the ossification. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey boys, well done. A penis that big is probably a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, boys. That was fantastic. Hey, we got a species we've never caught before. Yeah. And he's tiny. And that's good to know. That's, that's, that's the, the first bat I've ever handled where <laughs> go ahead and bite. Yeah, it's the go shortest. It's the shortest forearm, forearm of any bat in Jamaica. Yeah. That might well be, that's probably the tiniest bat in Jamaica. Yeah, I think so. The smallest bat in Jamaica. Yeah, I, I caught that one, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, you got that one. Look at it, well done. Well done, dude. Yeah, just go slow and take your time. Just checking out the bats, Duppy. Freeze some mums and some maple syrup. Ready to go? I think all of you fuckers are a set of some is fucking with us here, but that's what I think. That's what he thinks. If if he was anywhere close to our weight class, we'd all be dead. Hey. Oh yeah, can you imagine that mouth? If he was the size of a vulture and he came out with that mouth and got you on your head or your neck, oh god. And you get an occasional bat that's just too lethar lethargic and weak to fly off. He may have been too hungry or maybe something's wrong with him. So normally when we're doing bat work in the fields, we carry a bottle of sweetened water, yeah. sugar water. And when we, Steph and I go out there, I always carry some fruits. So 
anyone that we catch there now, if we handle him for more than a few minutes or he's been sitting, we give him a little go-go juice, some fruit and some stuff. And we've had bats that we've caught injured, seen on the ground and stuff like that, who were, you know, you hang them up there and you leave them there, but give them enough sugar water and some of them will drink and drink and drink and some of them will eat and eat and eat and continue eating. In fact, you can let him go and he will stay there and eat on that fruit. Yeah. And so if you have a bat that's not flying away and stuff like that, leave him be and just offer him some sugar water or some fruit. And if you happen to have a katie did or a cricket or something like that for the mm. insectivores, they'll take them too. They'll take them mm -hmm. too. In the tropics, bats spread more flowering and fruit seeds from flowering fruit and trees in now than any other mammal. Right. So, you know. I don't know if you noticed on the, uh, the hike here, when we were, uh, still before we got to the river, there was a guava tree over to the right. Right. The guava. Well, the fruit bats, man, they love guava. And uh, the very, very small seeds for the guava. So they, they eat the fruit, they put the seeds there. And so a whole lot of the wild guava trees you've got growing around are being spread by, by bats. Right. What they call uh, seed dispersal. Bats are really important for a lot of different uh, species. Ah. The there now. It's huge there now because the crocodiles live in there. The West Indian whistling ducks we get on the south coast here too now. So you get a smorgasbord of animals right. inside the, 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 the ponds at night. Okay. And we have no sanguinivores as far as the bats go. We don't have any blood sucking bats. People always ask, do we have vampire bats here? No. no. South America. No vampire bats, no poisonous snakes. No. Nope. Yeah, no. Pretty safe. Yeah. It's the invasive species that are yeah. that are the problems around here. And the tourists. <laughs> sometimes. Now they can come in just caves though, right? Oh yeah, man. They can just they can just spelunk and yeah. Yeah, yeah people are free to come. There's a, you know, there's hundreds and hundreds of caves in Jamaica. Yeah, can, you have to know what you're doing. The, yeah. the most difficult well, we part we is don't finding trouble, We don't trouble the bass unless it's for scientific right, reasons. Right, 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 right. You know. Well, it's just, I mean, the experience just getting up to that before you even caught them is fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so, so um, got five minutes. What's that? You got five minutes of battery. <laughs> I think we're about done anyways. Okay. We got all our stuff. All right, make sure I have all my crap. Bad thing here. Uh, maybe cut it and uh, save a little bit for. And through rocks, and then you hit another passage on a lower level, and that goes. And we've been f as far as maybe 30, 40 minutes ago until we hit the river, and the river was in spade. It was a torrential white water rapids type river at the time. Oh, down here. You got it? Yep. Yeah. It's like slab of rock. Hi everyone, it's Dr. Cliff here and I want to thank you all for watching our videos. Be sure to share with your friends and post any comments or questions you may have. You can keep track of us on Instagram and Twitter and be sure to join our Facebook page. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.